A hat, yeah, or a uh, helmet. Uh, call it whichever. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, what up, Z Clan, and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video. And Justin, why no? You were absolutely right. The sheep squashed outfit looks really cool with that bunny head. <laughs> Alright, do you know what time it is? Sergeant Angel, someone from London call for you. I'll tell him you'll ring him back. Well, that's funny. What's that? I didn't know we had a mounted division. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> So yes, it's time to lock and load because we're having a double XP coming for these weekends which start on Thursday 12 p.m. EDT time, 25th of April and it will end on the uh, 29th of April, Monday at 6 o'clock a.m. EDT time. So I'm going to have that screenshot on top uh, somewhere in the middle, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's my buddy Ranger right there, man. Look at that. Look at these two dudes. Woohoo! So basically, uh, the double XP already had such event back at the start of April, but this time it's gonna be for the adventure mode and survival mode. Well, I'm going for survival mode because you get 20% uh, XP over there. That's one. So, by the way, talking about XP, right? So, talking about XP, there are a lot of ways you can increase your XP. First of all, uh, if you're a charismatic player and you have the inspirational, um, there you go. When, yeah, there you go. When your team, when you're a part of the team, so you need to have at least one member in your team to get additional 15%. That's 45%, right? And don't forget, we get the double, so that's uh, wait, 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 miscalculation, 35. <laughs> so that's 70% right there on the spot, right? But if you sleep, you get another 5%, right? So that's already 40% times 2, 80%. So uh, if you don't know, if you're a new uh, player to this game, all you gotta do is find yourself a good bed uh, and sleep there until you get the notification pop-in saying you're well rested, right? So this guy's going to bed. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna wait for that notification to pop, but we're gonna cover some more. So, uh... The sleeping and the inspirational perk that's 20% uh, plus the survival mode that's another 20 that's 40% plus you can get additional 5% from doing an event uh, it sometimes pops in, at this uh, land view uh, lighthouse honestly speaking I forgot the name of the event but it triggers here that's the Mothman event, so you'll need to kill some very low, low level frogs and, I don't know, those fireflies or whatever. And uh, collect 50 quest items, uh, bring it up to the lighthouse, light it on fire, the Mothman appears, you talk with the Mothman, and you get another 5%, I think for an hour if I'm not mistaken. I haven't, been, I haven't done this event in a while. Uh, so we got the well rested buff and you know what let's actually go ahead and uh, port over there see if we'll trigger the event who knows maybe we're gonna get lucky you can't fast travel at this time oh, okay <laughs> let's fast travel so yeah you will end up in this location and as I mentioned over there in this area there's gonna be a whole a lot of a lot of different frogs and fireflies you kill them 
and you run all the way up and light this thing. Once you light this thing, you'll have a Mothman appearing right over there. You uh, initiate sort of talk with him, right? Basically, you use your E key or just uh, interaction key, right? That you use to interact with your world depending on your console, uh, and you will get the buff. And uh, let's talk about ammo, huh? By the way, also, I totally forgot about this soup, this stew, which also gives you XP. But the thing is, I gotta tell you, I don't know, I, I have no idea how much experience it gives you. Uh, it says 10 here, um, so I think maybe 10% or 5%. I really don't know because I never crafted it and I just, just remembered about it. Now I'm definitely gonna toggle my search and uh, find the needed things. Oh wait, Tato Square? Okay, I know where to get it, it's not a problem. So, and plus you eat this food and you can even get even more XP. So you can uh, get like 100% if not more experience uh, within these, um, the double XP weekend. So I 100% uh, like recommend you to get prepared for it. So that's the XP uh, talk, right? So maximize your XP so you can maximize your level because I'm gonna grind on Saturday because on Sunday we'll not be able to play and uh, you know, well that's scrap that. Let's get back to the topic. I, I always love to go aside, man. You know, uh, the other thing what I would recommend you to do so you do not waste time. Make sure you have ammo, a whole bunch of it. For ammo, uh, main, uh, mainly uh, lead is needed, right? Depending on what sort of ammo you're using, that is. Uh, I do have a guide for how I farm lead, so I would recommend you to take a look at it because I cover four locations where you can get uh, lead by looting it, and in total you can get about 240 lead per day. So there is a gym in Green County Lodge, there is a gym in uh, Charleston Fire Department uh, and uh, over here in the monorail elevator if you go on the second second floor run up uh, you can get more lead over here by the way someone in the comments said that in Lucky Hall Mine I actually just remember that as well <laughs> got to check it out there is a lead ore you can get he said about 200 400 lead ore and that is a lot of freaking ore you can make you can get a lot of lead by smelting the uh, uh, lead ore using the uh, camp station and you will need acid for that so if you go to smelt the menu you can see uh, lead right so i have two lead and uh, two four ores I can do that um, twice so I'm gonna get 10 lead plus uh, I have the um, the low HP build pretty much this is what I have right here so basically I have a set of uh, plus three to all stats which maximizes my uh, luck and luck uh, has the beautiful card that I just absolutely love when I craft is super duper and the the more luck the more times it triggers so it does work on the station here so for example I, I might be like lucky right uh, I don't have anything on me right now so let's do that so I did it twice right I should be getting 10 lead let's see if I got lucky and I did not get lucky <laughs> Damn. so basically you get the point uh, the more ore you have you trigger that thing and you can get a lot of lead uh, so there's also an event popping in this area, so this is what I said. I recommend you to watch that out. Oh my god, even the breach clear event is here. This is the best uh, event to get a lot of lead, uh, steel, and other stuff because you get a whole bunch of ore. I went in details on the guide video, so I do recommend you to take a look at it. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is be focused on your XP boosts. Get a whole bunch of, of ammo. You can do it actually. I'm gonna personally the way I'm gonna do it because I don't have time to play the game on like through Mondays and Fridays. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to uh, Market76 Discord or even maybe Reddit, whichever comes. But mainly I started using Discord. Uh, that's where you can buy and sell stuff um, uh, like in game, right? So I can go there and buy lead for caps, usually it can be three or two caps depending. I have a feeling that uh, 
the price for the lead is gonna go up before this uh, two week uh, oh my god this weekend of double XP because you know if I were to be a smart trader who's selling a lot of stuff I would know hey what's up double XP coming people are gonna start buying lead steel acid and so on price up <laughs> so this might be a tip for the traders out there <laughs> higher the price <laughs> make some extra caps uh, so yeah I'm gonna buy them from there uh, maybe even ammo but it's cheaper I think to craft it yourself I uh, once bought uh, 10,556 ammo for 8,000 caps then I bought uh, in total resources for 8,000 caps and I made way more <laughs> ammo like yeah <laughs> we bought it was somewhere like 0, 0 0.80 per bullet and we spent a lot of caps that time so yeah get your uh, ammo uh, make sure you have XP get your friends with whom you want to play and jump on survival mode I, I like I recommend survival mode uh, even if you're a smaller level First of all, all the big dudes are gonna be somewhere else, elsewhere, and you can take the position and uh, and uh, pretty much, you know, if you're having trouble, if you're in war or so, you get shot. Uh, now that they nerfed the amount of caps you lose, so it's not a big of a deal, right? Well, you will lose some aid. Just don't carry all your aid with you. Put in a stash. I don't even use aid to be honest, <laughs> so I don't care when I get killed. <laughs> I know if I need like food ASAP, I know where to go. I'm gonna go to Highland Marsh. There's a whole bunch of uh, Mylurks, Myler Queen. Then I'll uh, usually jump also to the abandoned waste dump to kill those two death claws in there. And so I know where to get my food, man. <laughs> you feel me? So basically, uh, yeah, survival mode is the best uh, to, way to take advantage of the double XP. Is just because of that 20% because that 20% is doubled and that's 40% right there so it will be like sorry for saying it's stupid not to go there I mean you gotta go <laughs> I, I'm, I mean uh, you can party up don't party up just number one thing don't stay in one spot you just gotta run 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 and uh, kill everything you see <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do personally I'm gonna be taking over all of the possible uh, workshops and jump from event to event because previously when we had this um, this double XP thing I would get a thousand XP per event and if you have a whole bunch of these you jump through them you get and depending on how many waves and if it's super mutants is high level oh my god once I even got to this place right here uh, this is the really cool one I get a lot of steel from this event by the way it's the meditation one and it always has super mutants and they once if you're lucky they spawn all in one spot you take the fat man you know BAM they all die in one shot I got almost 6,000 XP in one shot <laughs> when I killed them all like I was shocked myself by the way I don't even know how many spawned at the same time because some I don't know what's up with the spawning thing sometime it spawns like uh, a whole bunch of them, sometimes it spawns only two. Uh, but anyway, uh, if I remember correctly, I was getting about 600 XP per super mutant. So that's freaking big. I'm talking about high levels right now. I'm not sure how much... Oh, well, you're still going to be getting good amount of XP if you're a low level you kill them. But if you group up, I think you can go and just take, take down everybody. Uh, me and my team most probably are going to split up. Uh, we're not going to be uh, doing the same thing together we're gonna split up and there is a reason for that because we have good guns we are pretty well geared up so there's no point for us to stick together because uh, I might kill the whole pack without them having the ability to shoot someone and if they don't shoot someone they don't get the XP so that's a number another thing that I actually wanted to later later I have it in my to-do list to discuss to Bethesda a good thing to develop you know if you're a part of a team and you don't get to shoot some beast or whatever uh, how about giving the XP to everybody I mean even lowering the amount of XP you get yourself but spread it towards the team you know so that, that I think that's fair like I don't know uh, like for example uh, if you kill the mutant you get let's let's talk small numbers like 100 XP right 
and if you're a part of a team, uh, you can divide that and uh, make it 50-50, right? If there is uh, four of you over there, I don't know, divide it 25, 25, 25, 25, and doesn't matter who kills uh, the mutant, everybody is satisfied. Plus, make sure the loot also goes to everybody, you know? That's gonna be cool. Uh, I know you will get less XP, but uh, you can at least travel as a team, and as a team, you waste less ammo to take down something, and uh, everybody benefits. So, so like that. If, for example, the team splits away and everybody's in a different spot, then uh, you get your ex your XP, your 100 XP, and not 25% or 50%, depending on how many people in the group. So, this is something idea I already just finished discussing. <laughs> Why did I have the stupid mallow? <laughs> All right, so. Uh, did I miss out on anything? Nope. Just be ready, stay hungry, let's motivate it, and let's dominate this thing. <laughs> I wish you happy hunting, get a lot of levels, because in the previous one, I managed to level up like 30 maybe levels like in one day. 30 levels in one day for, for my sort of level, which is... Uh, Oh, 260 already, Jesus Christ, where the hell do I get these levels? <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found it beneficial and useful. And don't forget, Double XP Weekend starting on the 25th of April at 12 p.m. EDT and ending on the 29th of April at 6 a.m. EDT. In UTC, that's uh, uh, 4, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, 25th of April, Thursday, and uh, ends on 10 o'clock in the morning, UTC. <laughs> I think, yeah. Well, I think I covered pretty much anything. Know where to get your XP, get your group, get ammo now, <laughs> before the time comes, and start spending it. Just shoot whatever you see. <laughs> Happy hunting, man. Alright. I'll see you, I guess, later. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it beneficial. If you did, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And uh, I will be seeing you on the next video. If you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. You have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it at. I'll see you later. Bye.